Good morning guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is like my third weekly vlog now. I'm impressed that I'm like keeping it up. Um, so this week I have a very busy week. Should be quite exciting though because I do have some things planned. It should be more exciting than last week's anyway because I was literally just doing work all week. Um, but yeah, like I say, I've got some stuff planned this week. So I have just got myself ready, done my face, was up very early again this morning. Um, I'm not actually in university until two and it's currently eight. So I've got a while to do some stuff. But first things first, I am going to chuck my docs on and head down to the library because I need to print some stuff off. So let's go and do that. Also, kind of feeling my outfit today. So this is actually like an off the shoulder bodysuit from Pretty Little Thing. But I've like tucked one sleeve in. I'm not entirely sure if you can see that side. But I just got that and some jeans on. And like I say, I'm going to go and chuck my Doc Martens on. Not entirely sure if I'm feeling my hair because I think it kind of makes me look like a five year old. But we're just going to roll with it. I need it out of my face for knit later anyway. So we're going to work with it. I've just been let into the knit room, which I've not showed you guys before, but basically this is my machine, what I'm currently working on. I just thought I'd pick you up and show you it, because this is the sickest room ever. Any knitwear designers, you'll know how cool this room is. I've just had such a mess. I was on my way, on my way back from uni, went to go and get my keys out of my bag, because I was at uni, obviously, what I just said. I went to get my keys out of my bag, and I couldn't find them, and now they're always in the front pocket. I've been living on my own for nearly a year and a half now. I've never once forgot my keys, never once forgot to lock my room or anything like that. And today, I must have, like just been in a rush or something but I fucking left my keys in my room locked myself out of my room and my flat and got downstairs and I was like right so everything that I need is upstairs in my room and I cannot get in so I've had maintenance round to let me in but oh my god how on earth have I managed to do that I surprise myself sometimes honestly guys i'm still alive i have been the worst vlogger in the history of vlogging in the history of youtubing today um i think i i've literally filmed absolutely nothing pretty sure the last time i picked you up i was like in university or something um but i have had a very busy day i seem to be saying that in all of my vlogs at the moment and i literally like i'm jam-packed i haven't really felt great this afternoon like mental health wise which is why i haven't picked up my camera because i don't want to sit here and be all like meh and sad and like not very upbeat because that's probably not what you want to see um i've just been a bit like anxious i think i'm missing my family not i think like i'm definitely missing my family and my friends back home which is expected obviously because i'm living approximately 173 miles away from them but yeah so i've just been feeling a bit meh not great um i kind of wanted to call my dad because he always knows what to say when i'm feeling anxious but i was like no let's try and do all this by yourself be positive i did some blog stuff which felt so good to do i basically sat and wrote my post for the next three weeks because i haven't had the chance to do that where i've literally like since i've been at uni have been doing stuff every living hour of the day which has been great unexpected but i've had no time for my blog no time for youtube but yeah just thought I'd catch you up on like where I've been. I am making a conscious effort to try and take my camera out with me more this week so you get to see like what I'm up to more because basically I need to grow a pair of balls and stop vlogging in my room and actually go outside with my camera. Um, I did take it into the knit room today and I so wish that I'd set it up on one of the like um, balls of yarn next to me so you could have seen what I was up to. But maybe I'll do that Wednesday. We shall see. Don't want to get too ahead of myself. Um, but yeah, I've had a fairly chilled out evening. I'm gonna get myself an early night. I say an early night, it's already nine o'clock and I've just finished work, like working and stuff. So my early night probably isn't gonna be so early, but I, you know, we love a productive queen. Um, anyway, I'm going to end Monday's whatever I've got today, that part of the vlog here. Um, I know, like I say, I haven't filmed a lot, but I have been very busy. Um, tomorrow, what day is it tomorrow? Tuesday. What have I got planned for tomorrow? I have the day off at uni tomorrow, so God knows where I'll end up and what I'll end up doing. But yeah, I will pick you guys back up in the morning.
everyone, welcome to Tuesday's part of the vlog. I'm looking incredibly pasty today, very pale, definitely need to fake tan tonight. I haven't faked tan in a few days, so I look a bit ill, I guess we could say. Um, anyway, today is Tuesday, like I just said, um, and I'm off university today. I have got myself ready, like put makeup on, because I find that I'm more productive if I like put my makeup on, get myself properly ready, instead of like knowing that I'm off and just staying in my trackies and a hoodie all day. So I'm dressed, I'm ready to start the day. It is 20 past nine. Um, and I, before I do anything, I'm going to sit down and read through some emails because all of a sudden my emails, mm, I have a lot to go through. Um, so if I can sort them out, it then means I can just crack on with my day and not worry about all of that stuff. Absolute state of my room. I have never, oh my goodness. Just start shooting things, how we love that. I just had the best nap ever and I don't wanna move. I wanna stay in nap longer, but I have stuff to do and I need to be productive. Mm. Do I really need to get up and do work? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> mm. Okay, what's gonna get me out of bed actually? I'm gonna head into town because I need to get some stuff from the project. I'm gonna treat myself to a Starbucks as well. Surely that's like work motivation. I'm spending unnecessary money on coffee to keep me going. We love that. here doing some really like close-up artwork and it's making me realize how crap my eyesight has got like all the things that I could be bad at I'm bad at seeing and I'm too broke I'm too broke to afford a new pair of glasses so I'm literally sat here like squinting my eyes are like burning oh it's so annoying I don't know how they've got so much worse I wish I wasn't a broke student and could just afford a new pair of glasses when I need them <laughs> I'm not I'm not actually due like an eye test until beginning of next year so I'm just gonna have to wait until then to get a free eye test and hopefully some money off some glasses because I have got so much worse. And also I'm specializing in knitwear, constantly on the knit machines, like which is up close work. So they're just gonna get even worse. <laughs> we love that. Good morning guys, welcome to, what day is it today? Wednesday, Wednesday's part of the vlog. Last night I didn't end the vlog. I think the last clip I filmed was possibly mid afternoon. Um, basically I had another rough, rough evening. Ugh, can't even talk. Um, with my mental health again um i just didn't feel great i haven't felt great towards the evenings lately i don't know why i think it's because it's when i get like most lonely anyway i'm feeling better this morning i'm kind of annoyed at myself i tend to like push myself when i do have bad days in terms of like going out and making sure i get out because like that's the best thing that you can do and um, take your mind off it and stuff but two days in a row monday and tuesday i had plans both evenings and i cancelled plans because I felt like crap so I'm making a conscious effort to not do that today make sure I get out I've got plans tonight I'm gonna to go to those plans I've got a busy day ahead um, and I'm going to try my best to vlog more get some more content like I say I have got a busy day but I am gonna take my camera out with me and I am gonna film while I'm out so you have it here it's set out in the open um, but anyway it has just gone half past six I'm going to get myself ready I need to film an intro and an outro for tomorrow's video um, and I need to do that before I go into uni. Um, I'm going into uni at about half past eight, quarter past eight. So I've got about, I've got a couple of hours to sort myself out and stuff like that. But yeah, thought I would apologise for not ending the vlog last night. Let you all know that I am okay. I've just had a rough couple of days, which is expected. Like, that's just life. When you suffer with your mental health, you're going to get rough days no matter how much you got better. So that being said, going to go and sort myself out and we're going to have a positive day. Oh, hey, I'm finally feeling human. Um, It's meant to be like 23 degrees today, so I've gone to like a really summery outfit. I basically got on my leopard print denim skirt and then my black body. I have a feeling I'm going to get cold. Thought, seeing as it's meant to be like the last, probably last, kind of warm day this year, I was like, I'll get my legs out for the last time. Sure, can get my legs out. But I thought I'd just show you my outfit. I love this skirt, but I've not actually had much chance to wear it because I got it for an event um, like two weeks ago now and I wore it for that event and I've not worn it since. So I thought we'd get it out. It's really cute, fits really well. So, that is, so that's my outfit. I'm about to sit down and film a video. I say film a video, an intro and an outro. So I'm gonna stop rambling and get that done because then I need to head straight into university. Whoa, you need to chill on the whole tea thing. Lol, a literal mood. <laughs> not even 8 a.m. and I'm already on my way to uni. If that isn't dedication, I don't know what is. <laughs> oh, doing this one handed. I thought this would be a cool little montage, but it's just failed. Well, here's me trying to pack my bag with one hand and a camera in the other. We love that. 
that one was nice and easy. I've never seen such a sad looking meal deal but this was literally all that was left in Tesco's. I have just got back from town with Tasha. I was procrastinating and we went shopping. Tash spent a lot of money, I didn't. But I did buy myself, let me see if I can prop you up somewhere. Basically, excuse my hair because it has been up in a ponytail all day. But I've been after a like beret or baker boy hat for the longest time. And I'm kind of like, I'm not really cool enough to pull it off because I'm not cool enough. But at the same time, I'm an art student so I'm like pretty sure I can pull anything off. I'm just kidding myself. Um, but I picked myself up a Baker Boy hat and I low key, I'm low key feeling it. I feel like I belong in the Peaky Blinders and I love it. Like me and Cecilia Murphy, we're matching now and that's what more could I want in life. But I actually think it doesn't look too bad. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm gonna wear it, but I sent it to mum saying that she can expect to see me in the next um, season of Peaky Blinders. I'm rocking it. But yeah, I picked that up and I also got myself some new earrings because I just needed some small hoops because I've lost all of mine. Um, but that is where I have been. I've been stressing out like no bloody tomorrow. I have to have 20 knit samples by Friday. Um, the knit room's not open tomorrow and it's only open on Friday. I still have another 12 to do, so stress levels are high right now i'm gonna spend the day doing artwork tomorrow anyway um so i can crack on with that and then just crack on with knits on friday but i'm a major i'm in a bit of a stress to be honest with you and i like i went out with tash and andrew because i was like it'll be good to get myself out of the flat and everything but now i'm stressed because i've been out and i feel so guilty for it like i feel like i need to be doing work 24 7 and i know that it's so like that's so bad to feel guilty about it but i literally do and it's driving me mad like I've not been out all this week because I felt so guilty about not being in and doing work. Anyway, that's my rant. I went into town, bought myself a baker boy hat, also found a dress in top shop that I really want, but I told myself I didn't need because um, self-restraint, I'm a student, definitely don't need another dress, but it was red, so of course I wanted it. Anyway, I'm going to carry on with some work. I've been doing the same piece of artwork for over 24 hours now. I'll try and show you. It's going to look really crap on camera, and excuse the fact it's out of my sketchbook. Basically, it's on camera, it's going to look like a load of lines, but I'm creating a, so that's all embroidery thread, like single pieces of embroidery thread going down the page, and it is taking the longest freaking time, but I'm hoping at the end it looks good. If it doesn't, I think I might cry, um, but yeah, that is what I'm going to crack on with, because I've set myself the task of if I can get that done tonight by nine o'clock, I'll be happy and I can breathe and enjoy my day tomorrow doing other bits of artwork because that has taken me far too long. Also something really exciting, so basically my dad is running a half marathon in Peterborough this weekend. Um, my dad is a runner too, I think I've mentioned this before, but basically Peterborough is like mm, maybe like an hour away on the train from where I am. So I'm going to go and see them, I'm going to go and meet up with them for dinner, I'll only get to see my parents for a few hours but I've not seen them in like a month it'll be this weekend. so absolutely buzzing i literally cannot wait so that would be really nice um and then after that it's only like another month until they come up and visit me so it's like a nice in-betweeny going to see them but yeah i thought i'd just let you know about that because i've been looking at train tickets and i need to get i need to book them now but yeah that is how my afternoon has been spent good morning everyone welcome to thursday's part of the vlog um before it started now you can probably guess what i'm on my way to i'm going to the gym to get in a workout or run for the day um I know that the vlog ended really abruptly last night. I think it may have ended at about five o'clock um, before I'd even like done anything with my evening. And um, basically I went out last night and fun story I thought I'd pick you up and tell you now. So I went to my friend's house with my like with Tash. Um, we went over to her other half's house, sat in their bloody living room and full on I don't know how many of us there were, maybe like seven. Hang on, there are people here. Yes, yeah, so like I was saying, there's about seven of the sat in this room and they found my YouTube channel, which is fine. Like, I don't really care. But then they literally started playing it out loud and I really don't like it when people play it out loud when I'm in the room. Don't care what you do when I'm not there and I don't know about it. But they were playing it out loud while I was in the room. I started to get really aggy. Um, and then they had the nerve to fucking start laughing at me. And I was like, are you joking? And I just have to remember, like, although it made me a bit annoyed because people were sat there, like, laughing at me while I was sat in the same room as them that I'm the one that is earning money from my blog, earning money from my YouTube, literally earning money from doing what I enjoy, or whilst they're sitting around, not basically, so that's what I have to remind myself, but it did make me feel really crap, which is why when I got home, I just didn't end the vlog. I got back home about, at about 11, I wanna say, and I just went straight to bed because I felt so shit. So that is what I was last night. Thought I would catch up on it all. There's actually quite a few people out at the moment, it's half six, and there's people like riding past me people walking behind me 
Um, so I'm gonna put you down and head to the gym. So guys, I have just got back from the gym. Excuse what I look like. I know I look a bit of a state. I'm still really warm actually. It's really mild outside, which is weird. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? I had something to say. Oh yeah, so obviously the last one I picked you up, I was saying how people were like laughing at my um, vlog on YouTube, which doesn't really bother me because like I say, I'm the one that's earning money from it. Um, but I thought I should just say like, thanks to them as well for like watching. This is like the typical YouTuber thing to do when you find out people are taking the mic or whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you because you're improving my watch time, improving my views and all of that fun stuff. So if anything, the joke's even more on you. So anyway, I'm not bitter. I am very warm though. And this is such a disgusting colour top on me. It's my bar crawl t-shirt, so I just use it, as, use it as a pyjama top now. Anyway, just thought I would say that I'm going to sit and watch YouTube now and eat my breakfast because I'm blooming really starving. Also, at the gym today, something really weird happened. I should really eat before saying this because I'm so hungry. But I had to cut my workout short. I think I was only, basically I did half an hour of like um, sprints, like interval training. But I don't know if it was because I hadn't eaten, but basically yesterday I stood up and I felt like I was going to pass out, which isn't a rare occasion, like a rare occasion, rare occurrence for me. Like I frequently feel like I'm going to faint, um, but it felt like it was actually going to happen. And then in the gym this morning, I did my half an hour interval training, then went on the cross trainer and I had to stop on the cross trainer. Couldn't do any weights or couldn't do anything else because I, one, I felt really sick and two, all of a sudden I got the feeling I was actually going to faint and I was like, right, I need to get out of here. Um, so annoyingly I had to cut my workout short but I'm back home now I'm so worried about passing out especially at uni because obviously I live on my own like if I pass out I've got no one here not to help but like there's normally someone with me and also when I faint the past two times I've done it I've been at work and both times I've fitted like I've fainted then fitted um and I don't want that to happen while I'm on my own because that's kind of scary um so I'm just gonna like take it easy today make sure I keep um my sugar levels topped up and make sure I stay chilled out because I think it's like stress, tiredness, not eating properly, not keeping my sugar levels up um, and just in general putting myself under too much pressure because that's when it happens. Um, I've also got low blood pressure so that's probably like a cause in there as well and then when you throw it all together I get ill. Anyway that happened but I'm just gonna sit and eat my um, breakfast and I will check in with you in a bit. Just come back from uni I went down to print some stuff off it's actually like nearly three o'clock now and i've not picked you up since breakfast this morning i have just been really busy um and i've not really had much to say because i've been doing work anyway i just went down to my like post office because my post office isn't actually in my building because it's so small um and i have a very exciting parcel here um you can expect to see a video probably next week on what's in it i have i was lucky enough to work be working with a company who have sent me out some stuff to try out and that's what it will be like the video and um, but yeah i'm really excited to open that and see what the stuff is like but yeah thought i would check in and let you know that i'm still alive and i have been doing stuff today um i just haven't really vlogged it anyway um i'm gonna sit in over my parcel and try everything on and make sure it fits because if not i'm gonna be very sad because i've been looking forward to this parcel so much Guess what I've just been? So basically I wanted a new piercing for a, like ages now, but I just haven't had the ball so I can get one. The last piercing I had done was my nose and like that was like a year and a half ago now. So I was really worried that it was gonna hurt basically, didn't wanna go on my own. Um, but me and Tash decided today that we were gonna go and get piercings together. And so basically I got, I don't know if you can see it or if this is even gonna be in focus, but I got my second cartilage done. So like my second helix. I already had like a bar going through my um, cartilage anyway. Um, and then I've got like a hoop going through and it's really hot, my glasses are steaming up. Um, but now I've got a hoop going through and it looks like I have another two piercings. Anyway, I did that, surprised myself. Did something a bit spontaneous, which I never do because I'm the most unspontaneous person ever. Um, but yeah, it, and it didn't even hurt. I know it wouldn't hurt, but you know when you like psych yourself up and you're like, oh my God, it's gonna be so painful and you're a bit of a pussy, that was me. But it didn't hurt at all. Um, I sat like a champ. After having tattoos, like in some of the most painful places on your body, like I have, I can pretty much sit through, like sit really still through painful things. So I didn't find it like hard to sit still or anything. And it was just a cartilage piercing. But now I've got the bug and I want so many more. For ages I've wanted like loads of piercings. I want to get my like forward helix done on this ear as well. And I want to get my, um, I don't know what that bit's called, tragus maybe? On that ear. I also want my third done on both ears. And then I want my triple forward helix done on this ear. So I want a lot of piercings. Um, and you know, when you, it's like tattoos, like when you get one, you just want more and more and more. Um, so I'm going to have to like restrain myself because they're not cheap. But I think that'll be the only one for now, like for the rest of this year. And I might get another one, maybe, towards the end of the year. We'll see. But anyway, I thought I'd let you know that I did something a bit spontaneous. 
which never happens because like I say, being spontaneous isn't my forte, let's face it. It's currently eight o'clock in the evening and I'm already sat in bed in my pajamas with fresh tan on. I mean, I guess you could say I live a wildlife. Um, anyway, I just went in, I just went in the kitchen to make my dinner right. Um, and obviously I live in a shared flat. I share my flat with other people. Duh, that's what a shared flat is. Um, and someone has left the fridge open. I have no idea how long the fridge had been open for, but I went in to get some like, um, dinner out obviously um and none of it was like edible like i can't eat any of it and i couldn't even make pasta because i don't have any pasta sauce because i planned my meals to not have pasta i was literally sat there and i was like i don't even know what i meant to have so my healthy dinner tonight was beans on toast literally i have never felt more like a student than when i walked in there had literally no food and had to scrounge for stuff that was in my freaking cupboard i was like i've reached peak student anyway and then i put it in the group chat and i was like who's left the fridge open because i've literally had to chuck everything away um and no, apparently no one's left it open so it's magically opened and everyone's food's gone off which is just great um anyway i'm not bitter um i'm sat in bed i'm gonna end today's vlog here again i haven't really vlogged much today i've been a crap vlogger this week because i've just been so busy with work just thought i would check in with you guys because it's been a while my piercing is kind of like throbbing but that's kind of expected i did sort of like get it wet in the shower because i never clean it like the first night that i've had it done um i'll start cleaning it tomorrow but i need to go and get some rock salt before i can actually clean it but yeah it's not too bad it didn't hurt half as much as what i thought it was going to hurt so i'm hoping that it heals quickly as well because my body tends to reject piercings like any piercing that i've had like that cartilage and my nose in particular my nose took absolutely ages to heal. It had a blood blister. I had to wait like four or five months before I could get a hoop put in. Um, and my cartilage, my top one, has never really healed properly. So I, I don't know if that will ever heal. But yeah, I'm just hoping that that one doesn't get rejected as well. Because I really can't deal with the ag of having to deal with piercings when they get rejected. Um, anyway... <clears throat> anyway i will see you guys bright and early i'm sure tomorrow morning <gasps> i've seen my parents today oh my goodness i'm so excited i've literally been up since four o'clock this morning because i'm so excited about seeing mum and dad today um i've not seen them for like four weeks and anyone who knows me will know that i'm such a family girl and i've missed them so much but i get to see them today i'm so excited <laughs> literally oh i'm buzzing anyway um basically probably thinking um there was a massive jump from like two days ago to now i've not vlogged since friday um since friday since thursday even i didn't vlog yesterday because basically i was in the knit room for seven whole hours i was sat in front of a knit machine for seven hours i'm not even joking like full-on sat there doing samples <laughs> for that long um so i didn't get any footage obviously because that is where i spent my day but i did get one really funny clip fuck i swear this room's haunted i did get one really funny clip of chloe um when she was knitting just on my snapchat because basically when you knit you're on the machines and one wrong move and you're literally like your entire knit can come off um and poor chloe she was using such a tricky yarn and all of a sudden she just like she knits knits a row and then her knitting just falls to the floor um literally the whole like whole class me me chloe and um makari burst out laughing oh my goodness i felt so bad and chloe was just laughing because it just summed up her morning like nothing was working for her and then her nicks fell off and it was just all around funny i'll insert the clip here so you can see what happened and probably better explain than what i have just done it is currently like i think it's nearly seven o'clock so i've been up a while because i'm very excited i've also got something else exciting happening today but first of all I'm out of breath from like talking so fast um, I'm gonna go and shower and get myself ready um, and then I'll pick you up and let you know what the plan is for today I am now ready slightly more like chilled out and not so out of breath um, I it's been a while since I picked you up since since I last picked you up I have quickly popped down to Lidl to get my weekly shot because if I didn't get it now I don't know when I was gonna get it because I have such like a busy few days anyway I've just been sat in my room um planning my week all exciting stuff um what i wanted to say earlier but couldn't because i was just really excited that i'd woken up and realized i was seeing my parents today um was that i actually have cheerleading tryouts today um i'm not sure if i'll put this in the vlog or not like in the edited version because if i don't make it a little bit not embarrassing but like I didn't know if I wanted to talk about it or not, but basically, last week, you'll know that, if you watched last week's vlog, you'll know that I went to cheerleading taster sessions, um, and absolutely loved it. I've never done cheer before, but I was a dancer for a very, very long time, um, so I was like, oh, I'll give cheer a go, really enjoyed it, um, particularly the dance section, 
Um, but I have tryouts today and I was talking to Soph last night because Soph is a my, my best friend from back home um, She's a competitive cheerleader. So I was talking to her and I was like Soph, I'm so scared um, But I just want to enjoy it have a bit of fun. So that is what I'm doing this morning What I said this morning Tryouts are at 12 and it's currently 25 to 11. So I've still got a bit of time I think I might just do some practicing just so I've like got it down um, and I'm, I'm a bit more confident but yeah that's what I'm up to this morning, um, but we actually find out today if we've made the team or not. Um, I think there's two different teams. There's like a first team and a second team, kind of like a football team, I guess. Sounding like I know what goes on in football, I definitely don't. Um, but yeah, there's a first team and a second team, so there's like two chances of me getting on. Um, but yeah, we find out today um, because our first like training session would be tomorrow. So you'll know by the end of this like vlog or like by this afternoon if I've made it or not, which is exciting. But anyway, I'm gonna run through like the dancey bits that we're gonna be doing today. Just like, like I say, just to like get it down and so that I'm less nervous about it. And I'll probably pick you up when I'm back from tryouts. So I have been back from a cheer child. What just came out of my mouth? Cheer trials for a while now. Um, I'm in a bit of a rush, so I'll tell you about them later. But basically, I don't think I've made the team because. I will explain like when I get back from seeing my parents because I'm in a bit of a rush at the moment because um, I do need to go down to the station and I've just realised I need to collect my tickets because I don't actually have my tickets so I'm going to leave a bit earlier to do that um, but yeah I've got back, got changed, really like my outfit for tonight it's a um, like a pinafore dress which is red like corduroy from Topshop I think my mum will like this um, and it just does up at the front and then just a plain white top underneath and then of course I've got red earrings to match but yeah I'm gonna get myself like get my shoes and my bag ready and then I'm gonna head straight off to the station and I'll probably pick you up when I'm with my parents I think we're just going for dinner like that's all we've got planned purely because I'm gonna get there for about five um, and then the last train home is like quarter to nine like back to Leicester so we're just gonna go for food because we haven't really got much time to do anything else but yeah I'm really excited to go and see them and like I say I will catch you up on the whole cheer thing fiasco later we do find out this evening whether we're in or not so obviously I'll let you know as well but like I said don't think I've got in and I know that's really like a negative Nora attitude but anyway I'm gonna get myself ready and go and see my parents I have just got back so I've just got back from being with my parents we basically just went out for dinner as you would have seen from the clips we went into I don't know if I explained before but basically my dad's got a half marathon in Peterborough which is like an hour's train journey from where I am so I went to go meet them for dinner and it was really nice to see them and I did get a bit emotional on the train back because I had to leave them but I'm only leaving them for like four weeks and then they're coming to visit me I'm really out of breath so I like speed walked home but basically I hate the dark and I had to walk back from Leicester station back to my flat on my own so I'm like burning up which is why if I look shiny and red that is why um oh my god a traumatic train journey home so obviously it's a Saturday night it's full of the train was like full of drunkards like drunk men um, and I had like a set of eight drunk men behind me and I sort of managed to avoid them like avoid eye contact with them throughout the journey um, and just kept myself to myself when I stood up to go and like get off the train um, they then started wolf whistling at me and referring to me as the thick girl in red we love that I had to hold my tongue so bad and they were being so aggressive as well like before they started like cat calling me they were being so aggressive and I was just seriously having to be like no Hannah it's not worth it because some of the comments they were making were like grinding me so hard anyway um also earlier um you'll know that I mentioned cheer tryouts and I got through like I'm on the cheer squad or I'm on like callbacks which is tomorrow which I literally didn't even like I didn't even think that was going to happen so I was like sat in the restaurant with mum I shut my emails and I was like, oh my god, I've made the team. And I'm so happy because I really, really thought that I had absolutely fluffed it when we had to do the stunts. Because basically, I was a base and I think I still think I should be a flyer because I'm quite petite. Um, but because I wasn't the shortest, I wasn't a flyer, I was a base. I don't really have a lot of upper body strength. Upper body strength. Um, so when we had to like, um, basically, you start off like that and then you have to like that and lift them. And I can't. I really struggle basically to lift because I've not got any upper body strength whatsoever um, so I completely thought that I had fluffed it with that but they've let me on and I'm so happy um, before going in I was really worried about tumbling because I've never tumbled before um, but I absolutely smashed that smashed the dance it was just the stun that I would worried that I had fluffed um, so yeah I've made it onto the squad or at least made it to call back so then they're gonna like monitor us for the next few weeks um, just to like see how we go see how we get on and then if they don't think that we're right for it they'll tell us 
I guess, um, but hopefully it'll stay on and I was really happy about that. So earlier when I was panicking about, not panicking, but like when I was like, I don't think I've made it, there was no need for that because I did make it. Anyway, I'm now very tired. Um, I've had a very long day, so I'm going to go and take my makeup off because it's literally been on my face. It's 8 o'clock this morning. Take my face off and hit the hay because I'm blooming shattered and I need some sleep basically. It's been a long day for me. I'm going to end this week's part this week's part this week's vlog here because it is Saturday night and I don't vlog Sundays that's my editing day my day for me where I don't have to be vlogging or anything so I'm going to end today's weekly vlog here I'm really sorry that this week's vlog has been kind of all over the place I've been a bit of a mess some days um and not a lot has been put in it I'm going to make a conscious effort next week to like make more of an effort with my vlogs just this week I really haven't been feeling not feeling myself but I've had a couple of like wobbles this week so that is why but next week should be more exciting i do have some stuff planned for next week um i'm in london on tuesday i have um social on wednesday cheer training on thursday like i've got a lot going on so next week's vlog watch out because i promise you it'll be more interesting than this week's anyway i hope you have enjoyed if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and like and comment and all of that fun stuff and i will see you in next week's vlog when hopefully i look a bit better than this because right now i look a right state <laughs> um anyway i will see you all next week